pivot turn and some perfection right there. But he's got his work cut out. One of the guys on the shorter boards have made up some space on him. Can they navigate across this heavy line quicker? You want a stable board in white water, and you want a fast board in the flat water. Those two things you can't get out of the same design criteria. Uh, width equals stability, and narrowness of a board equals speed. There's quite a significant difference in board design between a full-on race board and what we're calling a subcross board. A full-on race board generally is going to be 12 and a half feet long. It's going to be relatively narrow, probably under 30 inches wide, probably more like 27 inches wide. It's going to have a keeled nose, kind of like a canoe. A sub cross board is going to have a little bit more of a traditional SUP, stand up paddle board look to it. It's going to have a rounder uh, nose and tail to it. It's going to have a little more rocker to it. Uh, generally, it's going to be a bit flatter in its shape as far as the deck contours are concerned. It's going to be wider and thicker. The 12 6 being the limit with the sprint, we saw most people on 12 6 boards anything from 23 inches wide to 30 inch wide inflatables. Uh, obviously, with the two gates down below, it's very critical that if you're going to ride a really fast carbon sprinting flat water board, uh, it's going to be a lot more difficult when you get down to the gates at the bottom. You're going to have to take a lot more time and tiptoe around the currents and make the gates. It's quite a tough decision for athletes to decide which way to go. The race board, which is going to be long and skinny, is going to be very, very fast. When you're moving to the first gate, if you're on a race board, you can be first into the gate, which gives you the advantage of being through there before anybody else shows up. However, if somebody on a big wide board shows up while you're still in the gate, they're going to take you out and run right over you on a more stable board. The hard move, which is from the buoy three to buoy four, the wide stable boards are a sure thing. The race boards are very, very difficult. Between the sprint and the sup cross, yeah, you need to have flat water skills and be fast. You need to pick a fast board that's stable enough for your skills. And for the cross, it's all about stability and getting a good hole shot and staying out of the wreckage. Oh,